What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture, Hot Farm, and it's been two days. Time to turn the pile. So forgive me, I'm a little sick right now. Hey whiskers. A little sick, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. And uh, I left my thermometer inside. I don't feel like going inside getting it, so I apologize about that. We're not gonna be able to get an exact temperature. We're just gonna have to do the old ouch test. Use your hand, see if it's getting warm enough. I've been feeling it for the past three turns, so I, get, I got a good feeling of what, it, what the temperature feels like. So we'll go with that. So let's uncover this pile and move it. You gonna help me, girl? Quick walk around. It's starting to get darker. It's like the last time, a little bit darker. Still distinguish everything when you get really close on it. You still distinguish the grasses and the leaves, small wood chips. I could feel the heat radiating off the top. And I can feel it. Oh yeah, it's, oh yeah. It's getting hot in there, guys. Oh yeah, okay. It's steaming. All right, I see a little bit of steam coming out. We gotta take a little break, guys. Wear me out a little bit faster. Gotta get done though, right? Every two days. That's one thing about homesteading or farming or your own business. You can be sick, but there's no one to call to do the job for you. You can't call your boss on the homestead and say, hey, I'm sick, I'm not coming in today. <laughs> nope. Takes a little bit longer to do stuff. Take breaks where I need it. It's not 30 degrees outside today. That it really sucked. <laughs> really warm. I get help. Last time I made a conscious effort when I was putting it back together, when I was turning it, to make sure it's kind of one cylinder, one cylinder all the way up instead of starting off at this size and ending up at this size of the top, kind of tapering its way up like I had it before. Try to make sure it had that, that volume all the way to the top, that three foot by three foot volume that you're looking for all the way to the top of the build, to the top of the pile. I think that helped it heat up a little bit more instead of having it big at the bottom and then taper at the top. Stuff at the top, if it's not three feet wide, it's not gonna get to that temperature that you want it to get, so. On the last turn, I did a better job of putting it back together and making sure it's about three feet at the top on the whip. Give y'all a shot of the middle of the pile. Okay, just a little walk around. Steaming in the middle. Getting a lot darker. Getting a little bit harder to tell the difference between the materials until you get really close up on it. As far as the moisture level, it's gonna need to get wet just a little bit. It's still pretty wet. We've been getting a lot of rain, of course in the past couple of days so I'll spray it down a little bit but not a whole lot let's finish this pile up so this morning when I woke up I felt like I had a fever I got up and got I wanted to try to go cut it off and 
put some Advil in me, some ibuprofen in me, try to help the fever. I look out the window and Floppy, our boar, he's out there running around, mama number two and her babies, not in his area. That's what I had to wake up and deal with this morning with a fever. It was a flop, was Floppy, our boar, being ornery as hell because one of his ladies is in heat. I don't know if you ever dealt with a pig, a boar, that wants to get to a lady that's in heat. <laughs> Whew. He does not cooperate. He will try to, it will probably try to kill you if you got in between them. Um, so that took a good hour just to figure out how to get him back in his area without him eating me. <laughs> Uh. Ain't no rest for the weary. Money don't go on the beach. I got faith and mouth to feed. Ain't no rest for the weary. The money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay, mouth to feed. Honey, if you please. I know it's wicked, but I'm weary right now, so I changed the words. Money don't grow on trees. You guys ever make up songs that fit your mood? <laughs> or sing songs while you're doing something? Help pass the time, help get it done. Take your mind somewhere else. And let your body work. We're done. That was what? Tenth day, fifth step, fourth turn. However you want to call it. We're over halfway through it. We're into ten days. We got eight more days left, which means four more turns. And that pile should be ready. Like I said, if it's not ready, we may turn it one or two more times. If we get, when we get to the 18 day point, if it's not dark enough, not where I want it to be, maybe I'll add a little coffee ground, some nitrogen, and, and turn it a couple more times. Let's give you a walk around of the final pile. Now go inside, I'm tired. It's looking darker. It's not smelling. The smell, well, I'm having trouble smelling right now anyway, so I better not attempt the smell test. My sniffer's not working correctly at the moment. It's breaking down good. It's getting a lot darker. Looks a lot different than the first time. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you would, Give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, and maybe share this with your friends. Thank you. Later.